showing this video to me is like showing a degree level mathematician simple addition and teaching him about it. I'm such a genius. <laughs> and like, who showed you the video? What are you talking about? I don't know who you are. Oh my goodness. Why would you show me this? I'm not an idiot. And apparently the video was about SCP creatures. And like all of that SCP stuff is fiction, isn't it? That makes it so much funnier. <laughs> okay, let's lose some brain cells by reading about these really smart people. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're doing fantastic. Thank you so much for tuning back in. And welcome to I Am Very Smart, the subreddit full of big brain geniuses. What's that bloody show about, like, the young Sheldon? Yeah, like that guy. That's this entire subreddit. I am so much smarter than everybody else, and therefore, I am better than everybody else. I hope you guys are all having a good day today. I'm having a wicked day. On to my second video, feeling super productive, having a fun time. And yeah, I'm excited to have a laugh at some I'm very smart. Let's do it. Enjoy the video. There are plenty of times when I'll go online and I'll see two idiots throwing the phrase Dunning-Kruger. Look at that. I called them idiots. Intelligence gives me this falsetto superiority complex. My IQ is 130 and I would say I reap the benefits of it. Once you get an IQ over 126, you are less likely to succeed in life due to the correlation between intelligence and mental illness. Well, I'm no exception to that, I have OCD, anxiety, depression, and bipolar, the big four, but I overcame these issues through medication and therapy, and now I'm realizing that I'm good at everything. Oh no, somebody needs to check their ego. Oh my god, that's so bad. <laughs> you're not good at everything, you're just not, and like you shouldn't be. Just this mindset that you're perfect, like no one is. I really think it's just an ego thing with these sorts of people. They just can't accept when they're wrong and they don't want to ever admit that they're wrong because that'd hurt their ego and then blame their problems on being too smart. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, so this one is on an article called The Conservative Case for Teen Pregnancy where the success sequence is parsim parsimonious, elevating lust and the pursuit of wealth above other natural goods. Pregnancy is liberal in the old-fashioned sense of the word. Indeed, by the standards of our professional class, even munificent. Hi, I... I own a thesaurus. <laughs> if you use so many unnecessarily big words to the point where people don't even know what you're trying to say, you're not making yourself look smart, you're making yourself look stupid. Like, God, oh, don't tell me that the success sequence isn't parsimonious. Oh, what next? <laughs> a YouTube comment on Carry On My Wayward Son. I don't watch TV. My good taste in music brought me here. I'm 28 and I have been listening to this song for at least 15 years. It amazes me how with the internet so many individuals in my generation find great music like this through TV shows. Sigh. Please don't include me in that group. I find music I like by looking for it. Oh, who cares? <laughs> like, for real, what do you want to get out of this? People being like, oh, cool, yeah, you found your music on your own? Like, this is just like the I'm not like the other girl subreddit. Like, okay, sure, there's something wrong with me because I find music through a TV show. Why can't we just all enjoy good music? I guess I'm just a moron. Believe it or not, I taught myself to read at age two. Precocious little thing. Like, yeah, I'm better than everybody. I'm so much smarter than everybody my age. Have you not seen that Simpsons episode with Alison Taylor in it? None of this sort of stuff actually matters. Let's just be friends. Columbus was looking for a passage to India. Correct, Allison. And on your very first day in our class. Successful entrepreneur and CEO. Masters in psychology and genetics. Graduate of Harvard. Active member in both Mensa and Freemasons. You'll understand if debating me, you're at a severe disadvantage. Oh, cringe, dude. <laughs> That's terrible. I feel bad. You don't need to prove to everybody that you're smart. That's sad, man. Why do you care so much? I'm a genius. I'm successful. I'm a CEO. I've got my master's in psychology and genetics. I'm a graduate of Harvard and I'm even an active member of Mensa and the Freemasons. And yeah, you will regret debating with me because you're at a severe disadvantage. Yeah. <laughs> I really hope it's a joke. I am a thinker by nature and my x-ray vision can't help but penetrate every matter to its depths. Explore it not just mentally or intellectually but also 
metaphysically and spiritually. My analogies and observations are unsettling for many dimwits here, so I will stop now. Ha <laughs> ha. What? Are you calling me a dimwit? <laughs> are they joking? Are they really smart? Am I a dimwit? <laughs> I'm so confused. He took it quite well. I think you mean he took it all right. I think you mean he took it all right. He probably needs the studying. Perhaps you and him could go on a Starbucks date. Source, the guy who paid attention in middle school. Ha 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 ha. 130 down votes. Oh yes, I'm so smart. <laughs> I don't think that all right is a word when it is. <laughs> I think you meant to say all right. Two different words. If you're going to correct somebody on the internet, please make sure you're actually right. It takes actual brains and intelligence to, one, understand family guy, two, get the jokes in family guy, three, not ask stupid questions about the jokes in family guy. Oh, you just know that the creators of family guy will get so sick of fans like this. <laughs> like, oh my god. It's like, come on, don't ruin a good show. Don't make it so other people can't enjoy family guy and Rick and Morty and stuff. And like, oh yeah, family guy is such a smart show. You have to have a really high IQ to watch that. That's not a diss on family guy. It's not meant to be a thought provoking show just for geniuses. Sick and tired of not being able to communicate effectively because I use too many words. I'm going to have to learn how to simplify my knowledge much better in the future. You know, like I know they're trying to be like, oh, I have to dumb it down for these idiots. But like that is actually true. A lot of these people on this subreddit don't communicate effectively because they use too many unnecessary words. Like, yeah, that's true. When you use too many words, you're not communicating effectively. But then the next bit sort of ruins that because they're like, I'm going to have to learn how to simplify my knowledge in the future. Like, oh, I'm smarter than everybody. These morons don't understand my intellectual Facebook comments. On a post about an astronaut forgetting that he's in zero gravity. Pretty stupid, to be honest. When I step out of a swimming pool, I'm not surprised that I will no longer float. If I was an astronaut, as soon as I landed, I would be capable of writing my reports and presenting to my superiors. Probably lift some weights afterwards as well to counteract the effects that zero G had on my body. Oh my god, that has almost 3,000 down votes. That's insane. I've never seen a post with that many dislikes on Reddit. That's crazy. And like, yeah, because you can compare being in space in zero gravity for probably a long time. Yeah, you can just compare that to getting out of a swimming pool. <laughs> Imagine how frustrated you would be if you had actually been to space or spent a lot of time in zero gravity. And like, and then you see these people saying stuff like this. Oh my God, you have no idea. And like, either do I, but I would never act like I did. That's the problem. These people don't know what they're talking about, but that still doesn't stop them from saying stuff that they don't understand. A normal person would be like, oh, well, I'm not really an expert on the subject, so I probably shouldn't speak on it. And these people are just like, nah, <laughs> of course I'm right. Public service announcement. It is ill-advised to ensure superfluous issues with an individual who is equipped with the intellectual ability to depreciate and counter the entirety of the ignorance you have facilitated. Please don't be that person with little love heart emojis. <laughs> Look at me. I'm equipped with some serious intellectual abilities to depreciate and counter the entirety of the ignorance you've facilitated. <laughs> Imagine if you met somebody and they actually talked like that. <laughs> yes, I am very special. You have no idea. What I have come to understand is that other people confuse my certainty about things for something else. I fit in when I want to fit in. My identity is not what concerns me. Other people's perceptions of me is not something I dwell on. That's why social media never appealed to me since I quit six degrees in 1999. Is Reddit not social media? Like it kind of is, isn't it? <laughs> I'm so confused. Like if you wrote this on a piece of paper and you mailed it to someone, that's a different story. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just not smart enough for this subreddit. A review of the new Portal 2 mod that adds time travel. Normally I would not take anything serious if it claimed 
times time as another dimension. However, this game wraps my brain the same way when I try to imagine geometry in the fourth dimension, so I'll give it a pass. I think it's about time we check out some wholesome memes. I can't take any more of these geniuses today. My stepmom saying it's okay if I want to find my biological mum. Me telling her she's the only mum I need. Oh, how beautiful. I love wholesome memes so much. Like, they're so good and they're such a nice contrast to, like, all the stuff that we look at. Deciding to live stream for the first time. Me and my best friend. Yeah, like, a couple of years ago, I did a few streams and it was literally just my friends watching. And, like, it's so nice to just have those sorts of people in your life. Me turning on my camera because the teacher asked and I felt bad. The teacher thanking me in front of everyone and being happy that someone is participating. Oh, that's so sweet. I've thought that a few times. Like, wouldn't it be hard if you were a teacher teaching a Zoom class and you can't even see any of the students? Well done to all the teachers out there. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. This subreddit is so much fun. It's so cringy and it's so hard to read sometimes, but it's worth it for the fun that we have in these videos. Today's comment of the day goes to Nutstomper47. <laughs> That's the funniest comment of the day name I've ever read so far. Me, every time Vincey does his intro, I'm doing fantastic, sir. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm glad. And every time I say that, I really do hope you're having a fantastic day. I know I'm just a voice in a video, but I do care. And I hope you're doing great. And um, Nutstomper, what, 47? <laughs> I'm glad you're doing good. Have a wonderful rest of your day, guys. Have a wonderful night. And I'll see you tomorrow at the exact same time with two brand new fun videos. I'll see you then.